Have you all 3D prints decided to take a detour halfway through? Shifting layers as if the printer suddenly has a mind of its own? Well, you're not alone. Layer shifts can ruin your prints, your patience and your plans. So no matter what 3D printer you use, stick around to learn how to fix layer shifts for good. Imagine this. Your printer's been running for 7 hours and you've been creating what seems to be the perfect geometric planter. Layer by layer it's taking shape and you're thinking, this looks great. But then out of nowhere the whole print shifts to the left, creating a jarring step in the model and it looks terrible. The result? A planter that's unsuitable for any plant, 7 hours wasted and hundreds of grams of filament too. I've been there and it's infuriating. But here's the thing, fixing layer shifts doesn't have to be as hard as it seems. Let's break it down and get your prints back on track. Think of it like building a house of cards. You stack them meticulously, but then suddenly a card slips and the structure is ruined. That's what happens when a layer shift occurs in 3D printing. It's like your printer just forgot its plan. This misalignment can be caused by loose belts, overheating motors, or even a road cable. And here's how we fix it. Tip number one, tighten those belts. Your belts are the backbone of your printer's precision. If they're too loose, it's like a skipping bike chain, there's no traction in their progress. Some machines have built-in tools to adjust tension, while others just require an Allen key to get them tight. You're looking for belt tension to be taut, but not so over tight that the print head is unable to move properly. Prusa even has a cool new app that uses sound to determine if your belt's tight enough. Bamboo printers with their faster speeds demand well-timed belts. Tighten until secure, but avoid overdoing it as this can cause damage. Always refer to the relevant manual or wiki for your 3D printer. Quick tip, if your belt's flopping around like an elastic band, it's probably overdue for a tune-up. Tip number two, watch out for obstructions. First, let me share a quick story about this tall, multicolour custom print that I was doing for a customer. I started the print without properly checking the magnetic bed, which unfortunately was slightly skewed. A couple of hours later, that eventually caused my prime tower to come loose off the plate. The prime tower then collided with the print head, making this awful noise and blocking its path as it got shoved into the corner. The result? A huge layer shift, wasted time and wasted filament. Obstructions can be a major cause of layer shifts, so make sure that your print head's path is clear. Watch out for sagging wires or bowden tubes. If you have a multi-material system, then also keep an eye out for stray filaments sneaking into the print area from things like colour changes or purges. Also, the poop chute on bamboo printers getting clogged is another major one to watch out for, especially on those long multicolour prints. Again, another one that's happened to me. Be sure to regularly inspect your 3D printing area for anything that might get in the way. Tip number three, check your settings. Sometimes the problem isn't physical, but digital. Extreme slicer settings like high acceleration or print speeds or jerk values, they can push your printer too hard. Take a moment to dial these back. If you can't see these settings, then you might need to enable your slicer software's advanced settings. If you recently updated firmware and noticed issues, consider rolling back to a stable version or recalibrating your machine. Quick tip, a recalibration is recommended for every firmware update. Tip number four, make sure your bed is level and clean. Starting on the wrong foot can doom a print, and an even first layer can lead to warping and eventually layer shifts. Whether you're using an auto-leveling system, a probe, or just manually leveling, Always check your bed before hitting print. Maintenance of the bed surface to ensure good adhesion goes hand in hand. If your print doesn't adhere properly, then it's likely to give you issues later on in the print. Tip number five, check your stepper motors. Stepper motors are small motors able to rotate in a precise way, and they're the workhorses of your printer. They turn the G-code from your slicer into precise movements that guide your print head to produce perfect prints. Overheating or certain slicer settings can cause them to skip steps leading to faulty prints. If the stepper motor is too hot to touch, then it's likely too hot to be functioning correctly. Try lowering your print speed in the slicer by 10 or 20% or 
or try improving ventilation to the stepper motors. Most modern printers should have well calibrated stepper motors out of the box, but don't rule out a motor being faulty. The customer support team for your printer should be able to help if you suspect that this is the case. When it comes to troubleshooting 3D printing, typically there isn't a one-size-fits-all answer and you'll need to do some detective work. In the case of layer shifts, you'll be inspecting belts, cables and motors, piecing together clues to uncover the culprit behind your print failure. Having this mindset can help ease some of the frustration that can follow troubleshooting any 3D printing issue. If you find you're still at a loss of how to fix your issue, then there are plenty of friendly forums and communities that will be happy to help you out. For those of you that sell your 3D prints, consistency is everything. One bad review can hurt your reputation. So make sure to test your setup with calibration cues or simple shapes before tackling customer orders. So what's your layer shift horror story? Share it in the comments and let's troubleshoot it through together. If this guide helped, hit the like button, subscribe for more 3D printing tips and join our growing community of problem solvers. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.